All right, that's a hit for 13. Um, and give me another DC something dexterity saving throw. Fail. Fail follow you. So you strike this creature for another 13 damage, pretty good. Um, and then your body is lanced with electrical energy for another 40 damage. Okay, I'm at 52. I'm going good to deal. keep hitting it. Alright. Whoo, alright, another 19 damage dealt. It's pretty good. Damn, them rolls. I don't know, we roll that two. Okay. Oh, one less. <laughs> no, it doesn't say you have to keep the lowest one even if you roll the lowest. Uh, yeah. I think, I thought all there right, was I think you do. Roll, but... Even if yeah. it isn't one or two. You're taking a gamble, kinda, yeah. yeah. Alright. It's not much of one. You're most likely to get a better roll, but... You have to use it. It's just, just yeah. do it. <laughs> You're more likely to get a better roll. Mm-hmm. All right, um, Desmond goes, at this point, Violet seems to be, uh, ready to go, but he's, yeah, he checks in with her and then rushes forward, catches up to Orsic, um, and then I guess also, I guess he just dashes, because he wants to get as close to this creature as possible. And the beast goes. Can it hit you? It's gonna be awkward. No, it's not even concerned about you, Shog. It just turns around, thinking about Violet, and it's just gonna start swinging and everything in its path. So, I guess Desmond's the closest one. He's gonna, it's gonna move through Orsic and Desmond, and it will take your attacks of opportunity, but its ultimate goal is to go for Violet. Uh, so, let's see. First attack will go to Desmond, we'll say. Claws at him for... Whew. 25 points of damage. It's moving, so let's see, it might go for Orsic next. Nope, Desmond again, another claw as it's moving. It's another 21 points of damage. And uh, on its way forward, boom, boom, it takes a bite at you, Orsic, while it bum rushes uh, Violet. And you. Ooh, what's your AC? Uh, That's a very poor roll. Okay, well, my AC is only 15, so... I am <laughs> a sewer hits, dwarf. Yeah. It still hits the sewer dwarf for, uh... Well, you, you're raged, right? Yep. Are you raged? Yep, or? I raged in the last round. When I okay, ran so... 16 piercing and 15 lightning. Uh... I guess it's half, because you take half of both of those. So, what, what was lightning? Uh, 8 plus... So it's 31 damage total. How much lightning damage was it? Fifteen. Okay, so yeah. Seven. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're not really its primary target here. Yeah. Um, Warden, saving throw versus death. Okay. Orsic, your turn. I mean, you don't have to move at all. You're in range of it right so now. Uh, but you said Desmond and I both got attacks of opportunity as well, right? Yes. So. Totally. Forgot about that. Okay. So, let Just me take that first. Attack. Yep. 28. Okay. 15. That's a hit. Uh huh. 15, Takes 15 damage. damage. Desmond, make a swing a roni. That's a miss. Uh, but he just got plastered by two claw attacks, so whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, go yeah, ahead. I'm going to swing uh, three more times. Mm-hmm. 
Miss. 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 God, what the fuck? Those rolls, dude. It was a five, then a four, then a three. Ah, uh, yep, yep, yep. Or a four. It's pretty good AC, five, but six. those are still pretty poor rolls. They're terrible. Um, hell yeah. All right. Next round, I will add Violet into the initiative order here. And everyone else, roll initiative. What's, uh, yeah, what skeletons remain in this area continue to batch this creature, but it seems unaffected and unconcerned with them. Morden, top of the round, another saving throw versus death. Okay. Alright, Violet goes next. Wow, that's pretty good. She approaches the creature who is looking at it. Uh, looking at her, it, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and she, uh, she's like swiftly running towards it at this point. And uh, let's see, her Nosferatu are in tow. She throws her hands forward in a kind of like a grasping motion. And yeah, immediately this creature, this god eater, collapses into an earth shattering fall. Its hands and face entrenched in the blood soaked earth as it struggles to regain control. So it's like a. It's like a large creature trapped in a net, you know? It's like trying to get out and it can't quite get out. And, um. It looks at her and. It speaks some deep unknown tongue to her. It says, Milak Gakbu Vuadra Dratra! And she screams to her, "You are mine!" And then she starts draining this creature's energy. You see this like disgusting purple, almost tangible crap being pulled from its body, in kind of like a tug of war. And it roars in frustration, and pain, and struggling against its ethereal bindings. Um, it's railing against this, trying to get out. I'm still gonna keep moving with the initiative. Desmond moves up. He's going to make a couple of swings. Um, let's see. One miss. It's pretty good AC. That's a hit. Uh, needs to make me a con save. That's a pass. Uh, so only one hit. Yep. All right. So he strikes it once. Creature tries to break free of this spell. Not gonna cut it. She has a firm hold on it. Shog, here's your situation. You have Violet draining this creature's energy in front of you. Desmond and Orsic are badgering it. Um, you were on top of it, technically, right? When this happened? Yeah. Give me a dexterity acrobatics check to make sure it didn't fall on you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with a medium pass, you can just barely jump out of the way as it <laughs> into the ground. You do a you know jump off, do like a barrel roll in the air, kind of you know collapse into the ground, but you know recover. Sure really cool. And uh, yeah, you can yeah, save you can jump. Points. You can jump yet, do some attacks if you'd like. All right, let's start. Backing away from it, um, full 30, um, towards Violet, but farther, uh, you know, get my distance, and, uh, start pelting it with the longbow. Do it. One hit. You pierce it for 11 damage. Alright. Got him! Oh, 17 arrows. Orsic, you are going at the bottom of the round here. Uh, the creature has collapsed on the ground before you. Bottom of the batting order, but I'm going to step up to the plate anyways. Alright. It is technically that. Prone. Um, 
Yeah, so you have advantage on anything against it. I think that was all hit though, right? Maybe it's a 20, doesn't it? Uh, the first one, 22, is a hit. You hit it for 18. The next one is a hit. 14, and the 20 is not a hit, so we'll roll that again. With advantage. Oh, you don't need to roll it. Oh, okay. We'll take the 20. You miss. Okay. Take the advantage. Yep. With the last hit there. So, let's us uh, roll a Neshatao. So is that a top 10 uh, Kamehameha uh, PD? Or is that going to make it or what? What? I did that round. Is that going to make a top 10 Kamehameha PMV? Yeah. <laughs> this is the... Probably if it were a DBZ scene, it would be the the scene with uh, Gohan and Cell and fighting with the, the power blast. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, all right it's, out. Power blast. it's a tug of war here. Yeah. So Violet, uh, I mean, her turn is is doing this, you know, continuing to draw energy from this thing, with it seems like great success. You do see its body is starting to like slow off of it. Its form is starting to become intangible. Orsic, you go next. Seems to be care. working. Whatever I'm you're gonna, doing. I'm gonna batter it. I don't care. Let's go. First one is a hit. The uh, those next two are uh, yeah fails. So go ahead and roll two more. We'll keep the oh 20, God. and uh, the 29 is a hit, so another 21 points of damage. <laughs> Got him. Alright, Desmond coming in as well. Uh, Orsic, make me, also make me an Arcana check. It's going to be a hard one. Wow, that natural one. Fail. 19, oh. Sorry. It's Dude, I gotta roll a natural here. 20. I had to roll a natural 20. Yeah. Pretty... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Some, I'll give you I'll give you something. I'll give you a little bit. That's a good roll. I'm not gonna give you that's enough. A, dude, that's as good as Orsic's six could get on that. 20 is what I'm looking for, but yeah. I'll give you a partial success. Something is wrong with your weapon. You don't know what it is. Uh-huh. Something is wrong. Uh-huh. Something, something's amiss. You know that for a fact, but you don't quite, you can't quite pinpoint it right now, in battle. Um, but you noticing it because of the battle. I'll just say that. Okay. Um, Desmond, Desmond, Desmond. That natural one is a fail. And of course, it's your first fucking attack. Cool. Uh, he is a fail on that as well with a natural two. So fun. You critically strike yourself. <laughs> How does that even happen? Fun stuff. Jesus. I'm just gonna roll until I get a critical so I don't have to actually deal with that bullshit. Come on, crit. 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 What the fuck, dude? I've oh, there it is. Uh, give Where? me a. Where has the rush cable been this whole time? It's a good question. Hold on, I need to figure this out. So he has to do a Constitution save. <laughs> of course, it's a natural one. Like, why wouldn't it be? All right. So he takes 19, 25, 33 points of damage. Fun. Alright. Uh, and I have to go all the way back up here to see what he rolled. Uh, the 29 is a hit. Needs to make a con save versus that. And then the... 30 is a hit as well, another con save. Um, both are passes, so he just takes those standard damage. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Um, all right. Morden saving throw over his death. This is the third one, by the way. If he's failed twice and he fails again, he's dead. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> the beast goes. And it cannot break free of these bindings. Shog, your turn. I'm away from it. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep pelting it with arrows. Okay. You have yeah. You'll have advantage. I should have given you advantage your last turn, but. Okay. All right, that's a fail. That is a hit. The twenty-seven. Well, I'll take the higher damage too. So twelve damage. Nice. There you go. All right, that's three hits. Oh, thirteen or, points of damage. Well, two hits, but three turns. Mhm. Mm Pretty good damage, man. You must be. How many warriors do you have? I have cheeky monkey. Fourteen more. I had twenty-six wow. originally. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, Shog. Uh, are you gonna move this turn or stay where you're at? Where? Okay, I'm like sitting kind of near Violet and them. No, you're off to the side a ways, because you, uh, oh, okay. you didn't fucking barrel roll off this thing and you, your trajectory was like. I'm gonna. Head towards Orsic. Okay. So you're gonna head more towards Violet and Desmond and Orsic that direction? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll end my turn. And end my turn! Yes. Initiative. <laughs> you bastards always let my NPCs bleed out. <laughs> <laughs> they can take care of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bastard. Bro, it's a heat of battle, man. He's like 70 no, yeah, feet away it. from me. I don't, I'm not seeing that shit. I'm totally not blaming you. Yeah, I we just... have to make perception checks. Yep. Alright, Violet goes. Uh, let me see you, Violet. Violet, Violet, let me see. Well. Well, it is Violet. Let's keep rolling here. It's pretty good. Wow. That is pretty good. Yeah, she grabs a chunk of this thing this round. And, uh... It roars in pain and frustration. Morden. Clearly he wasn't dead, because I'm rolling again. Alright. Forsick. Your turn. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna just try to trunk this guy down good and heavy. Alright, it is clearly weakening. Alright, we'll take the 20, that's a fail. Uh, roll again. 11 and a 20 is a fail, alright. Roll to the first um, one. 20 again is a fail. Dude, these 20s, that's like the sixth one. Roll one more. Best? Oh, you only get two, two round or three? Three, but you get three attacks. Oh my god, dude! What? Look, the hell look is at that? these rolls, dude! How did you do that? Look at the look at my previous round too, dude! What the hell? I mean, I'm so John. I'm willing to say because that middle roll, that middle roll both times is an eleven. Or are we doing? We did one, two, one, two, one. I two. was just doing one, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. three. Okay. Um, I thought you only got two attacks per round. Why am I thinking you get two? Mm. Do barbarians have three attacks by your level? Because oh, uh, you multi-class, so. Right, right. Well, either way, I didn't hit 
at all this round, so. Yeah, yeah, totally. I just want to make sure that yeah. we understand. Because I know you're like one level away from, uh, on a paladin level from getting another attack. But you're not fifth level paladin. Right. So you might still be at two. Alright. Um... Because what level barbarian are you? I Extra attack at fifth. Tenth level. Yeah, you only have two attacks with this barbarian level. Right. Okay. And fifth level pally, which your fourth level yep. Yep. gets an extra attack. So you'll, if you go into pally next level, you'll have three attacks. Yeah. Right. Um, but either way, you don't hit this round, and we're taking the higher numbers, so just misses. Yep. Um, Alright, the creature goes. Did I seriously click out of this? Character sheet. I think I was just. I I think I was just kind of used to combat doing three because. It's because Desmond I've, and Shog. Desmond and Shog, and I had three attacks per round with Zundas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're at the point in the game where most fighters <laughs> have three. Yeah. It's just the multi-class portion of you right now kind of yeah. has you gimped. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so it needs to fight this here. Yeah, right. Alright, it's failing. It's losing this battle uh, in grand style versus Violet. Shog, your turn, buddy. Okay. Mm, I felt that bitch with some longbow. Alright. Do it. You said bandit advantage? Well, if you. Yeah, yeah. So the first one is the hit. Uh, it's 13 damage. Roll two more. That's a miss. And the 24 is a hit. Nice. Alright, Putting in work with that longbow, bruh. Yeah, man. Yeah, it did. Alright, Desmond. Don't natural 20 yourself this round, please. You're supposed to be the hero. The hero we deserve. <laughs> um. One, two, three hits! Excellent. That's what I'm looking for, buddy. And some saves. Why do I keep clicking out of his character sheet? I need con saves. One, two, three. This thing has the sickest con that anything ever has in this world, huh. so yeah, it passes. Fucking incredible. But still lots of natty damage here. 28, 39 damage. Swing, swing, swing. All right, let's do initiative. Okay. All right, of course, Violet goes top of the round. Um, I should just keep her sheet open. Oh, I keep clicking out of that too. Violet. I just keep minimizing mine so I can like look at other things on my screen. And I have I have, I have like, so many fucking up. things open. Yeah. It's insane. All right, move this over here and make your attack roll. Hell yeah! Holy. All right. You need that <clears throat> Samsung 49-inch curved monitor that fucking. Hell yeah, dude. That uh, Maximus yeah. Black's been playing with the last couple of days. And then all right, uh, second and third monitor on top of that. All right, it, it's not looking good for this creature. In fact, one more round of her pulling that off and it's probably done. It's down, it's back down to like bare bones and, and energy. Shog, your turn. Arrows, boys, arrows. It's Orsa's turn. It's and that, turn. that uh, purple energy around her is getting stronger and more caustic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. I must not have organized it correctly. Let me. All right. Uh, no, the creature goes next, right? Seventeen. Yeah, I guess so. I can't see creature, so. Really? You can't see it in the initiative order? Nope. Oh, that's wonderful. I thought you guys could see it the whole time. That is no. excellent. I'll have to remember that. That's really good news. Okay. I was like, well, it's unfortunate. They're gonna see it in the initiative roll. And then nope. we'll see it this whole time. That is so good. I'll remember that. DM tips. If you have a creature on another map and you throw it in the initiative order... Uh, uh, yeah. Cool. 
Good to know if you're gonna DM on roll twenty and you want to hide something in initiative pool. Cause I've uh, traditionally, when I don't want you to know what something is that I'm rolling for, I just roll yeah. it like this. Yeah. But if you want to do it in game, uh -huh. yeah. If you want to do it in game, you can throw it on another map, and uh, they yeah. won't see it. Cool. Did not know that. Learn something new every day. All right. The creature mm -mm. cannot size up to her attack rolls here. Or sick, your turn. Uh, no. Swing at him. Uh, it's a miss. Oh, that's a that 20. A natural 20. All right. Wow. Crushing it. Wow. Plus, I love that. <laughs> You don't get two rage bonuses, that's why. No, 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 but I love the, the nat 20 and then the 19 right before it. Or yeah. right after. I will take the higher damage, though, so you, you'll, you'll strike it for 21. Sure. I'm just saying, like, earlier, I rolled several nat ones. And all those 20s, then I get a 20 and a 19. Then I get the nat 20. And I... Yeah, you're rolling pretty strange. Oddly All right, well, I'm done rolling for Morden one way or the other, so I'm going to get him out of this pool. Desmond uh, making some swings here. One, two, three, eat this! <laughs> you like that rock reference? <laughs> Fucking throws that grenade in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <one> <laughs> oh, God. Eat this, you fuck! Puts that in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that guy turns into like a fucking skeleton with that acid shit. That fucking those green balls. Oh, oh god, god, yeah. He clenches it up into his mouth. Yeah, he like smashes that glass. <laughs> <laughs> his like skin is slowing off his face. Yeah, 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 disgusting. Yeah, yeah. That's the bullshit nature guy. Yeah, dude. Bullshit, dude. Bullshit, Major. <laughs> we became mercenaries, and mercenaries get paid! Want my fucking money! <laughs> uh, Alright, Desmond hits it twice. Needs to make me some con saves. Which she... Let's be honest. No chance. Actually, yes! There is no chance. He fails even if it rolls a one. I'm done rolling con saves. I didn't realize it was that bad. <laughs> this thing has a such sick con. Alright. Uh, yeah, so he's just gonna. He deals, uh. Uh. 21 damage. Natural damage. Striking it. And the creature is being slowly dismantled. Shog at the bottom of the round. Technically tied for Desmond, I guess. How far away am I from it? Uh, I was imagining that you were no more than like 30 or 40 feet because okay. you I mean you were thrown off of it how far do you get thrown definitely probably I think you can still get up to it if you want to attack the melee I'm going to do that okay because I see Orsix attacking it with his melee he's not getting shot right it's, it's, it's down Violet has it down so it can't I'm really start whacking it uh huh Alright, the first one is a miss. The second one is a natural 20. Uh, not getting surprise here. So you're gonna deal 20 damage, and then you're gonna deal 15 damage. 35, right? How many did you fucking roll? One, two, three, okay. And then the last one... Oh no, the 15 was part of the natural 20, I see. So you only deal the natural 20 damage, because the first one misses and the third yeah. one misses. Got it. Oh, I can do that. Great weapons fighting. I'm gonna reroll. Okay. Yeah. Go, yeah. Do that. Nice. Five more damage. Got it. Okay. And let's do initiative, maybe for the last time here. Alright, Violet goes. Her initiative is 6 City. 
and let's make that attack. All right, yeah. So she keeps draining this thing's energy. Um, let's take a look. HP. Yeah. It cannot break free of her. She's overpowering it, and over the course of this round, it lets out a guttural scream as she drains the last of his energy, and it just vanishes from reality. For the first time, the party has seen Violet drain life essence from something without actually touching it. That's something of note. And yeah, it is gone. I want immediate actions and reactions from a combat uh, from a party that is not currently in combat. Kind of standing there in shock for a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna be it's freaking out looking going. at Violet and like, what the hell just happened? Mm -hmm. Like, flabbergasted. Yeah. So she had, uh, um, she's had for a while now, right? She's had like this weird energy just kind of like coming around her. Right. Uh, you see that energy is slowly starting to grow around her. Uh, like her, on her arms, like around her arms. There's like this cloak, so her hands now have like these long, kind of purplish claws. And the, yeah, the cloak seems to be getting more pronounced, for sure, uh, in the la first couple of moments. You do, yeah, give me perception checks, actually. Nice. Um... So yeah, Desmond and Orsic, I guess, both of you realize you have no clue where a Reshkigal is. Of course, there's lots of undead. Um, but you also see Morden is down. And Violet is getting more creepy looking. Right. Uh, I'm going to run over to Morden as fast as I can. And... Uh... Lay on hands him. Just one little touch of lay on hands. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and like without even like you know seeing if he's conscious or whatever, I'm just gonna like run over to him and lay on hands. So. Well, he's definitely unconscious. Well, yeah, but like, <clears throat> I see he's down, but like, you know, without checking if he's alive, I'm just gonna like lay okay. on hands him. So. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Do I it. Have... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit him for like five points. Mhm. Mm so. Yeah. So if he were still counting saving throws versus death, he would be stabilized. Yes. Um. But he is not, and not that your character knows that. Mm -hmm. Uh. And you go to check if he's alive, I yeah. presume? Yeah. After I okay. do it, yeah. Sure. Sure. So, uh, we'll do a medicine check. Because, you know, I've really had medicine. I mean... An easy pass is enough take. in battlefield medicine to know how to check for a pulse. Yeah. So, you check for a pulse on the downed wizard, and you find one. He's alive. Yay! Okay. I breathe a s sigh of relief. And uh... yes, you would not be leaving this <laughs> plane yeah. if you didn't have him. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Well, especially if um, a rush kick just fucking doesn't show up. Yeah. Nope. Um, he's alive. That natural 20 on one of those rolls. I think. Thank the low word. Um, okay. And uh, once I... Desmond rushes over and says, Is he dead? Yeah, I'm going to go look, run over to 
uh, Morning too. Uh, no, it looks like he is stable. Perhaps he can still teleport us out when he breathes a sigh of relief. That's up. what he was doing. Good. Can't believe we did that. Holy shit. Yeah, that wasn't terribly fun. Violet's so strong. He nods. And I'm only stronger by the moment. But where is Rush Kegel? Anybody see her? Desmond shakes his head. Lost sight of her in the battle. It was kind of a chaotic mess. What a shit show. Uh, I kind of want to like I'm gonna stand up and like actually like actively look for her. Mm -hmm. Like I mean. Look around. It's a field of undead and yeah. the crushed bodies and yeah. Who knows? I mean, if you if you're gonna spend a long time, I'll give you a definitive answer on where she is and what's going on. But right now, unless you roll like a natural twenty on a perception check, it's just mm -hmm. it's too chaotic. All right. Okay. You want me to roll a perception check or? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Try. You pass a very hard check, I'll give you it. Actually, yeah, no way. This is too much. This is... <laughs> it's just insane. Um, yeah, if you, all, if you spend some time, maybe you can figure that out. Right. Uh, we're not in combat right now, so yeah. if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do that. But I think Desmond's heads over back to Violet, make sure yeah. everything's good. Um, Shock, what do you want to do, buddy? What are you doing? Just making sure Morton's okay. Is does he need to be picked up or anything? Because I can carry him. He's unconscious. Well, mm, I'm just trying to stabilize him to make sure he's okay. Just okay. Give me a medicine check. Oh God, don't kill him. <laughs> the bugbear got <laughs> yeah. Okay, you don't know a goddamn thing about medicine. Uh, you're checking him. You're like, mm, slap him in the face a couple times. No, he's definitely unconscious. Yeah, I'm just gonna watch over him. But yeah, Orsic confirmed he's alive to you, so. Motherfucker. I haven't felt that alive in a hundred years. Damn it, I can't see Devin. Sorry. Devin, can you refresh, uh, just do... For Logan? Yeah, yeah. There you go, I see him. I see him. Oh, we're good. see you. Yep, you're good. Alright. Sorry, I just smashed the fucking back button on my mouse against my keyboard. <laughs> All right, so all that happened is we fast-forwarded an hour. Um, mm -hmm. Morden is now conscious. Uh, Shog watched over him during that time and was approached by the commander who kind of, they had some spitballing and hanging out, mm -hmm. you know, congratulating each other a little bit. Um, and what did you do in that hour? Do you go look for Resh Kegel or hang out with Desmond? And uh, Yeah, I kind of go chat with Desmond and Violet. Mm -hmm. Um... I kind of quip with Violet and say, "Well, that doesn't help your case very much. You look pretty, uh, you look pretty menacing now." Uh, yes, I'm not gonna absolutely lie. terrifying. The cloak is pretty much covers her entire body now. These long, disgusting tendrils of energy, purple void energy. 
Yeah. I just say to her, if I didn't know any better, I'd, I would say you definitely don't have my best interest at heart. Or in mind. You better hope that's the not the case. Yeah. Well, there's no real way for me to tell, is there? Only faith. Where is Areshka go? Mm, do not know. I have not seen her. I didn't is see her in battle. Is the wizard alive? Oh uh, yes, Morden's fine. Morden Good. Is stable. Uh, so you guys, yeah, I guess she goes over to Morden, who looks like he is not doing well, but he's alive. Uh, did we... Did we win? Have, are we victorious? Looks to Violet. Who is... Mm, a lot more menacing than last time. Looks for confirmation from you guys, but I think he gets yeah. gets the gist of it. I would say so. I would say we are. <sighs> How long was I out? He's still like not, you know, kind of bleeding from some areas, but his robes uh, are ripped. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell. You, uh, teleported to the other side of the thing, and, uh, I don't know. I lost sight of you. A lot going on. Not more than a few minutes. Or, well, a few minutes of battle, anyways. I've, uh,. I've, uh, I need somewhere to rest, clear my mind. I can't, I can't remember my spells. Mm. All right, well, can you do it here? Or do have anywhere else to go? Uh, I suppose. You're going to have to watch over me. I am defenseless in this state. He sits down and begins to like patch his wounds up, flips open his spell book. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can find a rescue. Where is a rescue? Please, where is she? I must speak with her. Mm -hmm. No idea. Well, um, I guess he's just going to sit there and try and recover strength. Shog, what are you going to do? Just watch over um, Morden. And Orsic is going to go spend how much time looking for Reshkigal in this battlefield? I don't know, half an hour or so. Hanging out with undead soldiers, what's left of them. All my all right. friends are dead. All your friends are dead. <laughs> um, all right, give me a perception check. Okay, you feel like you've, like within the immediate area anyway, you feel like you've got a pretty damn good look at what's going on and she's definitely not here. Ugh. Uh, she could be a ways out of your scope. You only looked a half an hour, but within the immediate yeah. area, no way she anywhere near here. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, after half an hour, I walked back and, and you know, no idea where she is. She's dead for all you know. Who knows? Yeah. Sure, are a lot of dead things. Mm-hmm. And some <laughs> undead things. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> 
re-dead things, things that died, and then uh, they're not really dead though. They uh, things that were crushed start to come back together. It's been about over an hour, hour and a half now. Everything's kind of. Yeah, it's coming back together. Uh, kind of a hard place to uh, win a battle against. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so you return to the party and what? Uh, yeah, I tell them uh, that no idea. Or I, yeah, no idea. Can't find her. I don't know. Okay. So what's the plan then, you guys? We're just gonna sit around and wait while Morden gets his spells back? Yeah. She's yeah, dead. Pretty it. much. Yeah. You know, roll. Uh, I don't really need any, but uh. Let's kind of scream out, Ereshka goal! I'll just scream out her name a couple times. Where are you? Desmond starts setting up some sort of perimeter. I'll talk to the commander and uh, tell him, uh, have your men keep a lookout for an elven woman. She is within our group, but she, she seems to be lost. Yeah, I saw her when she came in with you. We need her. She's the queen of the um, a faction of elves. He nods. Very I'll important see. for this mission. And I'll guardian see what of I can death. Pick up. A guardian of death. Thank you, sir. All right. So he's gonna go try and figure out what happened. Um. Okay. So, basically. Ooh. I'm gonna flip us to the next day, the 16th of Sunscorch, as Morden recovers. Um, and we will deal with the next day, uh, next session. So, cool. congratulations to the party for defeating one of the tougher things in this campaign. And, uh, almost had a casualty in one of our most important NPCs in the story, but did not die thanks to the Aren't Jesus? <laughs> Seriously, you guys would have been in a lot of trouble if more <laughs> fucking dies. <laughs> yeah, I love that. But hey, everything worked out. So uh, let's do experience. I think I basically level up no matter how much or how little experience we get. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Shog, um, fuck it. I'm gonna give you the heat, the feast for allies. Cool, no, we did gonna, enjoy I'm, it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you know it's the thought that counts. So you sat down with friends, you hosted them a feast, you cooked a, cooked your heart out, and it was a good meal. They weren't able to enjoy it, but that's not your fault. So uh, or maybe that's it was good. the ingredients he used because he used rations, but <laughs> uh, I guess we'll never know. Yeah, hard to tell. There'll be more feasts. Hard to tell. I don't have any taste buds anymore. No. Yeah, I was. I'm gonna really just have to focus on feeding uh, citizens of the human kingdom. Hell yeah, man! Join the Peace Corps. I'm just gonna start just a bread stand. Here, feeding the, the small folk. Pour yeah. it. Uh, okay, yeah. so it's you all are... wasted on me. I'm dead on the inside, anyways. <laughs> you are. <laughs> You've taken all the terrible things and sucked it into your own life. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so. You, I'm going to give you the goal, but I'm going to give it to you at 12th level, because you completed it while you were still technically level 12. So, let's see, that's one, two, so it's going to be 2,500 more experience. Please add that to your roll 20 character sheet. Um, don't complete your short-term goal, Shug. Um, or six. Uh, did not complete goals? None. Wrecked. And let's see. 12th level Shog. That is... What level is Desmond? Okay, let's...
And what level are you, Orsic, without leveling up? Uh, 14. 13? 14. 14? Okay. Okay. So. Lots of things that we did this session. Um, we spoke with Death and his, uh, his children, the other gods, and didn't die. That's pretty, uh, pretty crazy, man. Big, big story point there. And we kind of completed a long campaign goal here of chasing down this creature, righting the wrongs towards the divine and uh, of death and, and all those who uh, find themselves calling death home. Dorian will be proud. <laughs> and yeah, you destroyed one of uh, you, yeah, you, you destroyed a creature that probably would have been responsible for toppling existence, uh, at least slowly. So yeah, that's a big deal. Each of you will go home for completing this big quest with 16,600 experience. Jeez, what a 16,600. Yep. Okay. Yep. Huge, huge part of the campaign. Nice. nice. Alright, but that's it and that's all, right? That is it up. for experience. I just leveled twice. Yeah. You only do levels once, so this session you'll level and next session you'll level. Okay. Uh, so 13 then? Yep, you'll be at 13. I, I get halfway to level 16. Then 41. Yeah, I'm at 141,100. Yeah, <laughs> so I actually know 14 uh, at this next one. Alright, can you write that down so that we don't forget to level you up next session? Somewhere? Yeah. Somewhere you'll remember. I just don't want to forget. Um. Oh. Campaign notes or recap notes or something like that. Puts me literally halfway to <laughs> level sixteen. That's pretty good. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's a that's a thirty k experience. Yep. Uh, gap right there. Desmond might level. I'll have to worry about him later. It's getting late, and I have to be up in six yeah. hours. Tell me about it. God, God damn. Uh, all right. So your fourteenth or your thirteenth level this session, right, Shog? Yeah. Cool. So that's a pretty good level, man. Plus one to your proficiency bonus. Yeah, yeah plus one to my proficiency bonus. Has two uses now. Second and down level, yeah. So yeah, man, not gonna be failing those saves very often. Just make sure to use it. Is that every saving throw, like any any saving throw possible, or is it just two two? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, any saving throw that you fail, it's any at all. Wow. That's yep. Dope. Yep. So you get to reroll two per uh, per short rest. Cool. I guess it is. Uh, nope, per long rest. Sorry. Still though, pretty good. Yeah. And um. Let's roll HP. So it's going to be 1d10 plus your constitution mod. Con mod is 3. D10 plus 3. Nope. Oh, that did work. You did a capital, I see. Alright, 10 more HP. That's a pretty good roll. Better than average. 127. Sweet, sweetness. Uh, Orsic, uh, do you tech you leveled, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So which one are we going, Pally? Yeah. Going for that extra attack? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Mm. Pally's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Also, second level Pally spells finally. 
Yes, indeed. Um, obviously, you know, proficiency bonus doesn't stack per class, so it says it goes right. up, but it won't go up. It'll just take the highest one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that HP. Go ahead and add that to your... 136 max HP now. To your new total there. Um, and I to adjust your tokens so that it's appropriate here. Uh, can you actually, can you guys both write in the max total on your tokens on this map and I will fixate them to your character sheets. How do paladin spells work again? Do you just know all your spells? Yeah. Or do you have to learn? I'm barely certain. You know all of them? Yeah, you just know all of them. Okay. Paladin table shows how many spell slots you have. Cast, cast on spells for some of the spells. Paladin spells are available for you to cast. Choose your paladin spell list. Yeah, you just prepare spells every day. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you pray for them, and it's up to DM's discretion whether they want to give you the ones you pray for or not, I suppose, yeah. but... Um, cool, so... And you can prepare... You know how many you can prepare. It's like charisma plus half your paladin level rounded down. I don't know what your charisma, charisma is. Charisma plus paladin level rounded down. Yeah, so it'd be one, so it'd be one plus it'd be three, three. What? Yeah. How's... No, it'd be one plus two. Half of five rounded down is two. So it'd yeah, be so three. three yeah. Which you've been preparing three, right? Yeah, this yeah. whole time though. Yep. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. So I can only prepare three spells, but I can cast six. Where does it say you can cast six? Because you look at your spells. Look at the spell slots. Yes, yes. You per have level. four first level spells and two second yes. level spells. Yeah. But so I can know. You can cast. Yeah. But so I can, can only cast, cast three times. No, you prepare three spells and you can cast them as many times as you have yeah, spell slots yeah, for them. Either of those two levels. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you, but you know, if you don't prepare, if you don't like pray for a second level spells, then yeah, I mean you can only cast first level spells at second level. So I, I can pray for six different spells of, yeah, or I can pray, I can pray for three different spells. Sorry. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um. And then you can you pray for one first level and two yeah. second level yeah. spells. You can cast that one first level spell four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's not usually something we deal with with you, though. Yeah. So. It's usually not very economical for Orsic to be casting all these spells in combat, but sometimes. Yep. Um, and, uh, is that it for you? You rolled HP and put in your character and everything? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me just fixate these tokens. 127's correct max, Shog? Yeah. Sweetness. What's your new max, Orsic? 136. About tree fetting. About tree fetting, yeah. And Orsic. New token max. Remove Arino. And use select token. Save. Good to go. Okay. That is it. GG. Good session. GG, Hope you enjoyed no it. And uh, congrats on the levels. Mm -hmm. 
Are we uh, set to play Sunday? I know Logan, you said yeah. something about maybe not. So. Well, right now I'm playing on it, but if shit hits a fan this week, then no. <laughs> okay. So, and I got it like I'll have I'll have to be at work at like 9 a.m. on Monday next week, so. Like a real late session, just not really gonna be lucky. So, Alright. Fucking 12 hour days all next week, so. Yeah, it's rough. Actually, it's like all the next two weeks, and then probably for like. For the next after that. forever. Yeah, pretty much for the foreseeable future. It's like 12 hour days every day. So. Yeah. It's getting exciting. Hell oh, yeah, man. All right, well, thanks for playing, and hope to see us back next week. So, cut in the stream. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.